Welcome, welcome. Uh, I've decided tonight that I'm going to go to a, uh, a village about 20 minutes away from here. I'm going to do some nighttime photography. It's a location that's been on my mind to go and f use as a location for some nighttime photography for a few weeks now. And tonight the opportunity is aligned, so I've got, I've got time. I think we've got some clear skies. Um, there's a moon set at around about half, half past eight tonight. So I thought, right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head out later on and I'm going to try and take some decent photos. I want to try and get, uh, so in this village there's a, a windmill. And so I have this idea of trying to get a photo of the windmill with the stars in the background. Maybe also trying to get the windmill and the moon and just see, just experiment really. You know, I'm a complete beginner, I'm just a novice, total novice, so I'm just gonna try that. And I'm gonna vlog about it. And so that'll give me two kind of uh, parallel projects tonight, really. One is my, uh, my photography, my astrophotography, and the second is creating a vlog. Cool, so it's, uh, oh, sorry for the dark. It's now coming up for about 4.35 o'clock. And uh, the good news is this. It's getting clear and you can see the moon. So, preparations have been made, made some notes. Looks like I've got clear skies. It's already feeling quite cold, so I'm gonna have to make sure I wrap up warm tonight. And uh, now just have some dinner, get prepped, and then um, take some photos. Right, right. Got my bag of goodies, as you can see. I'm wrapped up. I'm absolutely roasting right now, actually. And all I can hear in my head is my mum saying, "Won't feel the, uh, won't feel the benefit when you get outside." I've got hot chocolate in a thermos, and um, I'm ready to go. And I really don't know what to expect from tonight. I haven't. You know, I haven't pre-planned any compositions or anything like uh, like that. So, you know, I could get there and, and it'd just be a disaster. But hey, I've got a free night. So let's go and have some fun, see what happens. <laughs> right, I am in Brill at the minute. And one of the things I'm just looking at is the windmill. See that windmill there? So the windmill there, and then I've got the moon behind me there. And what I want to do is I want to get a shot. I want to get a shot of the windmill um, with the stars behind it. So I think I can probably get a decent shot. I'm down from it at the minute because this is in a really hilly area. And then I'm going to go and walk over behind the windmill and see if I can get a picture of the windmill with the moon um, the other side. But it's a shame in that obviously the moon's going down. Um, the windmill is facing the moon really so i can't get a picture of the windmill the front of the windmill with the moon behind it. it's going to be the back of the windmill but let's see if i can get a picture over there and see what that looks like and go from there uh and it's it's cold just said two degrees in my car it's uh, just coming up for 7 p.m so probably looks like i'm out in the middle of the night but it's not <laughs> Right, just about in the distance there, you can see the windmill and the moon, so that's the shot I'm going to try and get, and we'll, um, we'll see if that comes out or not. Now, one of the issues I am having is on the other side of a road, so I've got cars, oh, what is that light, I don't want that light on, I've got cars coming past which is fucking up my images, so I might, I'm trying to get the right setting at the minute. But I might have to do a quicker exposure and just hope that no cars come past. Right, I've got a few good snaps off the moon, I think. It's always going to be hard to know, especially an amateur like me, <laughs> of, um, whether we've got the right one. But it is a beautiful night, so many stars in the sky. <laughs> It's absolutely incredible. And I think I've got one of the Milky Way. So I'm gonna change now to a different area, try and get some different pictures. And uh, yeah, and then maybe go and have a bit of hot chocolate and a warm up because it is 
cold. It must be about freezing now. It is, uh, it's cold, but it's beautiful. It's a beautiful night, really clear. Just a little bit of cloud over the moon. So it's in a constant sort of haze, which is a bit annoying. And this means this, uh, the pictures probably aren't gonna come out as well as they could, but um, we'll see. Okay, just stop, just come back into the car, warm up, feet freezing. Um, I'm gonna have a look at some of my pictures in a minute. I've taken quite a few of the moon, the moon behind the windmill and um, kind of difficult with a lot of cars coming past all the time, but I think I managed to get a few. We're just experimenting, different ISO settings, different aperture, different, um, shutter speed and until I really until I get them on the laptop it's gonna be really difficult to see what they're like um, it's such a clear night it's beautiful apart from a bit of cloud uh, to the south but um, I've got a picture of the plow so the plow is to the north got that I've got a picture of Orion I saw I saw these three planets aligned coming up above this house and I thought I wonder if that's Orion and I looked on the night sky app and yes it was Orion so I tried to get a picture of the house with Orion just sort of coming over the top of it um, which hopefully will come out kind of nice so I've managed to get um, say the moon and the windmill the plow Orion and what I'm going to do when I'm warm up is I'm going to go down below the uh, windmill I'm trying to get a picture of coming up at it it's lit on the front so I don't know how well it'll come out but I'll try and get a picture of uh, the windmill with the stars in the background so that'll be facing north then so again i might be able to get the plow in the background but i need to see what that looks like but um i did i brought my hot chocolate i had a flask and i've only used it once because i <laughs> i made myself a coffee once i drove somewhere that was only maybe 15 minutes away and it was still scolding hot half an hour later and this was made an hour and a half ago and it's still actually quite hot but I bought this hot chocolate today because I didn't really want coffee, but it's nice. Just forgot the marshmallows, really. Oh, yeah, still red hot. That's nice, though. Just popped into a local pub, the Pheasant at Brill for any locals. Beautiful pub. People in there, Christmassy. Could have just sat and had a pint and a, <laughs> a bit of food. But anyway, I'm going to warm up and I'm going to get back out. Right, um, to take you some more pictures. I warmed up a bit in the car. I came out to take you some more pictures. It's cold, it's cold wind tonight. Um, it's just coming up for nine o'clock actually. So I've been out for a couple of hours now taking some pictures. I've taken some more of the windmill, trying to get stars in behind, uh, trying to get the plow in behind. So I think I've got some, some pictures. So we'll see what they're like. Uh, Got some more of Orion. I've tried to get some more of um, of the Milky Way. I think I got something earlier around the Milky Way. I'm not 100% sure. I'm looking forward to getting back and seeing on the laptop and seeing if I can bring that out. Um, but I think I'm done here for now. I think I need to get back in the car and um, I'm going to drive. I think I'm going to drive somewhere else. Go and see what I can uh, find there. The moon set. I wanted to try and get a picture of the moon going over the horizon, but it was just too cloudy. There's like low cloud there tonight, so that wasn't possible. But um, it's been fun. It's something just. Um, I, I can remember being like a kid, like eight years old, in the back of my mum and dad's car, coming back from somewhere late at night, looking up at the stars and just feeling like, you know, just this tiny part of something. And I think. We've all at some stage walked home, sort of pissed as a fart from the pub, looked up at the stars and had a conversation with someone about how small it makes you feel really. Now you realise that you're part of something bigger that you don't really understand. And tonight with all these stars in the sky, I mean, it's, it's incredible. You just look up and you think, wow. I even think there were, there could have been stars that exploded, I was reading or listening, um, supernovas. Stars that we could see in our sky that could have exploded in the 14th century and because they're so far away we still don't realise that they've exploded yet. How would you get your head around that? <laughs> the mind boggles but um, anyway I think we all get a little bit like you know thoughtful when we look up at the night sky don't we? 
because we don't really understand it and we don't really understand what we're doing. We just live in day to day life, it's just it's fascinating, it's absolutely fascinating. So, you probably hear the wind. I'm on my phone, I left my cannon in the car because I don't have a, a bag and that's got the muff on it for the sound. So, hopefully, this hasn't been too windy. But, um, right, on to the next venue. Right. I'm back. Uh, I didn't go to the other place. A um, couple of reasons. Why? Firstly, a cold. Needed a wee, to be honest. Secondly, I thought if I've made mistakes tonight with those photographers, uh, photographs in the in the first location, I don't want to go and make the same mistakes in the second location. I just end up with two lots of photos with mistakes. So I thought what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back, look through the photos that I've taken now and then, you know, there are other clear nights to come and uh, I can go and go back to the, go back to the second location and have a look. So yeah, I'm going to go through and uh, take a wee look now. So let's see what's, uh, let's see what I've got. Okay. Uh, update. I've had a look through my photos. I've probably taken maybe 40 tonight. 15 or so made sort of the first cut. What I do is I take, I input my photos and I go through and anything I kind of like I add to my favourites and then I go back through my favourites and I look and see if there's anything in there that maybe shouldn't be in there. So I whittle it down and whittle it down and I've maybe got Five pictures that I like, a couple of nice ones at the windmill, um, from the back with the moon, a nice one of the windmill from the front with the plough to the left of it. <clears throat> I've got one of the Milky Way, you can just about faintly make it out down the middle, so I'm really pleased with that. And um, I've got one of the plough as well, that's quite clear. Annoyingly, the ones I took of Orion, Coming up behind a house, little bit, little bit blurry. Not the best. Um, not not very crisp or clear, which is quite disappointing actually. Um, I'm not sure why. And maybe it's sort of focus. Maybe it was wind and, and a little bit of movement in the camera. I'm really not so sure, but I'm a little bit disappointed at that because I thought when I was there that would be a nice photo. So yeah, happy with that. Happy to get you know if you I think. I've heard other photographers say, like proper photographers, if you get two or three good shots, then you know that's a that's a good return. So I'm I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah. I need to learn how to finish a vlog, and uh, that's something for me to remember in future. But anyway, I'm going to end the vlog now. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't before because I'm going to be doing more. I want to document my photography journey. So this is the first. Um, and I'm just going to end this vlog with a series of my photos that I took during this, uh, during this uh, vlog. And uh, that will see you out. So until next time, thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.